everyone and welcome back to the monkey bead kit. Yesterday we are going to be making the ears and the body and essentially finishing this one and uh, if anyone watched the first part you'll know I got this far. Now I have cleaned it up a little bit and removed the excess string so it does look a little bit tidier. Now the first thing we're going to do is make the ears and for this you will need two 30 centimeter pieces of string and each ear if you look in the instructions here you can see it has five brown beads four orange ones and it connects to one bead here and to find that bead all you have to do is turn the head on the side and it's the brown uh, bead just next to the eye there and by here however the first thing we need to do is to take one piece of string add one brown bead in the center and put an orange bead either side like so and do what you can to try and get the brown bead in the center of the string now uh, for this one i have put the red on the top and the blue on the bottom next thing you need to do is one more orange and one more brown on the red string and bring it back round through this one to give this kind of shape here then on the blue string on the bottom, do the same thing. One orange, one brown, and bring it back round through this orange one. And if everything has gone right, it should give this kind of shape. Uh, once you've come to this shape, uh, make sure the brown one's in the center just by holding it and pulling the string uh, this way. And then you can just adjust these accordingly. Now with the red on the top and the blue on the bottom again, all you need to do is take the red string here backwards, so around through this orange bead, and then through this brown one and this orange one. So it comes in a sort of S shape. And it should give you something like this with the red string coming through this bottom orange one now. Now the blue string in the middle here, all you need to do is the same thing on the top though. Take it through this center orange bead here, down through this brown one and then up through this orange one. So it should be coming out here. That should leave you with this kind of crown type shape. And all you need to do next is with the blue and the red string here, you need to take it through the bead I identified earlier here so you can attach it to the head. So all I've done here is take the blue string down through the bead and the red string up through the bead and then pull them tight together like so. Now from here, the blue on the bottom just goes through this orange one, brown one, and add one brown one and take it through this one. And the red, you do the same, take it through this orange one, this brown one, and add one brown one. From here, all you need to do is tie the red and the blue strings together here, and the ear is done. Then turn the head over, pointing at this bead here, and do the same thing on this side. And because the ears are symmetrical, there is no difference in making them. Hopefully the ears will come out nice and uh, symmetrical like this, giving a nice uh, little monkey face. Um, I should mention one thing, uh, with the left ear we went blue down and red up, with the right ear, you go red down and blue up to make sure it bends in the right direction. Apart from that, everything is the same. String ends up here, tie in a few knots, tuck it through a few of the other beads and cut it short. There you are, the head is done. Next, all we need to do is turn the head upside down because we're gonna build the body onto these red ones. Cut a piece of string 70 centimeters in length, one end, one end blue, one end red, and thread it through this bead here. And we wanna have the blue coming up the top and the red coming out the bottom. Take the blue string here, add two brown beads, one pearl bead, and then another brown bead. Try to make sure the string is as central as possible, and then take the blue back round through this first one here. Once the arm is done and in place, just need to add a brown and an orange bead to the blue string and cross the red through the orange one. From here, take the blue string through the central red bead there, add two orange beads to the red string and cross the blue through the second one. Take the red string through the next red bead, add three brown beads, one pearl bead, and then a fourth brown bead to the blue string. From here, Turn the blue back round and go back through this one to create a sort of circle pattern and then cross the red through the same bead here. Try to make sure that the arm is as close to the body as possible at this point. Then take the blue through the next red one on the bottom, add two more brown beads to the red string and cross the blue through the second one. Take the blue string down through the next red bead add two brown beads to the red and cross through the second one like before. 
take the blue string through the final red bead here and up through the back of the arm there. And then add one final brown bead to the red string and cross the blue through it. To start the second row, first we're going to add three brown beads to the red string here and cross the blue through the final one. From here, take the red string on the bottom through this bead on the back here, add two brown beads to the blue and cross it through the second one. And then do the same again with this bead here, take the blue through this bead, add two browns to the red and cross them through the second one. And hopefully you should have finished the back. Now to do the front piece, first take the red through the last brown bead here. And instead of adding two brown beads to the blue string, you want to add one brown and one orange and cross the red through the orange one. From here, take the blue through the central orange bead there, then add two more orange beads to the red string and cross them through the second one. To finish this row, take the red string on the bottom through this bead on the bottom there and up through the first brown bead that we added on this layer. Finally, add a brown bead to the blue string and cross the red through it. Now that the body's finished, we can start making work on the legs. And with the face looking towards us, uh, we should have the blue going backwards and the red coming forwards. We're going to start with the blue string first by adding one brown, one pearl, and then another brown bead. Then take the blue string back through the first bead here and up again through this brown bead and this pearl bead. Add one more brown bead to the blue and then take it down through this bead here in the back. From the back, you can see it's gone through this one here, take it back up through this brown bead, this pearl bead and the brown bead we just added and then through the back bead here. Turn it back to the front, take the red string through this front orange bead and this brown bead here, add one brown, one pearl, and one more brown bead. And as we did with the blue string, take it back through this brown bead here, up through the first brown and the pearl bead there, and add one more brown. Then turning the character over, take the red string here through the back of this bead, and back up through all three of these, and down through this bead, so it should be coming out on the left. With the red and the blue both coming through the bead in the back, all we're going to do is add five brown beads to the blue, like so. Take the string back round through this one, this one, and this one, not the end one, the second, third, and fourth. Reposition the tail so it's up against the body. Add one final brown bead to the blue string and then tie the red and blue together. And then as before just re-thread the string through a couple of beads and cut it short. And your monkey should be complete with the little tail and everything. Yes, now I have added the uh, string on the top here, or the chain, with the headphone jack there so you can connect it to your phone as you wish. Now again, uh, with the fluff on the face, uh, I recommend something like uh, nail scissors because they can get in quite deep. Just be careful not to actually cut the plastic string between the beads and everything should be fine. Uh, in terms of difficulty, I think only the ears on this one were, were a little bit tricky just because they're very different to the other ones. And apparently this arm likes to punch the bell. Good action feature! But there you are, that is the final of this series. But now we can put them all together to create this lovely image. Yes, I have all six of them nicely finished and completed. And it's quite strange to see that uh, the dog and the monkey are very similar in design. Uh, the panda and the bear are very similar. And the rabbit, I suppose, is similar to the bear and the panda as well. Just the cat is the only one that has a sort of unique body. And this one is my particular favourite. In terms of difficulty, the panda's mouth is a little bit tricky because it uses these very, very small beads. Uh, the monkey's ears were more difficult than the other ones, but apart from that, nothing was too challenging. One thing to note though, some of the older ones that I made, the metal has started to rust a bit. So if you want to keep these for a long time, I recommend using maybe different metal bells or just don't use the bells at all. And there you are. That is the complete set of six Dice or Bead kits. But in good news, Dice has recently released a new set of bead kits. Yes, an elephant in a basket, a panda in a basket, a bear in a basket, and a rabbit in a basket. There's a very baskety theme going on here. 
And these are quite interesting because they use circular beads rather than those uh, diamond ones from the previous ones. So I'm not really sure how they'll work and that's something for me to look at next time. But that's how you make the final monkey and good luck if you try to make one yourself.